Hi, welcome to Mrs. Spitz's science class. I'm very excited to meet all of you and get to know you. Um, I've really been enjoying spending the last couple of weeks getting to know your students. We've been doing already some science experiments um, in class and outside of class. I really hope that um, they've been talking to you a little bit about that and that they're getting excited about the school year. Um, I always like to start out the school year by introducing myself. Um, I do this for my students as well. In fact, I show them some of the same um, pictures I'm showing you. I know that um, I, I went through my roster and I recognize quite a few last names. So I know I've had some of your, um, maybe your older children. Um, and so some of this might be repeat, but I think for most of you, I'm, it's new families. So um, I'm originally from the East Coast. I grew up in Virginia, um, all the way up at the northernmost tip of Virginia. Um, I grew up riding horses on a horse farm, so I've, I noticed that some of your students ride horses as well, so it's exciting that we have that in common. Um, I went to Virginia Tech for undergraduate and graduate school, and there I studied biology and human nutrition, and I also received my master's degree in science education so I could learn to become a science teacher. Uh, this is my 16th year of teaching. Um, I taught for two years in Virginia before moving out to um, Seattle and Washington. And I've been at Islander Middle now. This is my 14th year there, which is kind of crazy to believe. Uh, I'm married with um, two children, Emily and Chloe. Emily's about three and a half and Chloe is six. Emily just started preschool this year and Chloe uh, just started first grade. And they both go to the French American school on the island. Um, some of my favorite sports, I hike quite a bit um, when I have the opportunity. Um, my husband and I did Mailbox Peak just right before school started. Um, and I ski when we can. I'm hoping this year with COVID that we're able to go skiing. Who knows what's going to happen. Um, I golf, at least I try to. As if any of you golf, you know that golf is one of those things where you're good at one thing one day and not the other. And then another day things switch around. Um, and I enjoy riding horses. Um, I also travel quite a bit. My husband's originally from France, and so his whole family lives in France. Um, they're from a region called Alsace. This picture on the bottom right is from a beautiful city called Strasbourg, and he was born in a little village outside of Strasbourg. Um, we travel quite a bit with his family um, when we can. The summer was probably the only summer we haven't been in like 10 years to go and visit his parents. Um, so we were saddened by that. Um, we've been up in the Aliak Bay, Alaska is where we're kayaking. Um, top right picture, we usually go with his family to Crete. Every year we've been to Crete for four, uh, let's see, four times, which is absolutely beautiful. And so we both love traveling and we take our kids traveling with us. Some of my random favorites, which students always enjoy finding out, I love snow, I love chocolate, I love sushi. Um, I didn't really like football until I moved out to Seattle, but I love the Seahawks. Um, I'm addicted to Starbucks like probably quite a few other people. I enjoy my vanilla iced latte and so on. Um, now for just a little bit of nuts and bolts. Um, I did send a welcome letter home um, in August and, and through email, and I also posted it to your student's uh, Schoology account. Um, I wanted to just tell you a little bit, the seventh grade course is an introduction um, for your child to um, basically um, setting them up for fall um, is matter in chemistry and that will set them up for ninth grade um, physics and chemistry and then as we switch over in january to more life science which is their introduction for biology in high school so down here in this blue square to the right it, it these are all of our units that we'll cover and as much as possible with remote learning we are trying to um, modify labs so that students can do labs at home and we are also doing labs while teaching I've actually been in my science classroom um, quite a bit doing labs for your students to watch. So trying to keep it as hands on as possible. Um, week at a glance, hopefully you're now familiar with the week at a glance. This is something that is super important for the success of your student in the online learning model. Um, it is found on Schoology under their materials tab. And basically what this document does is it tells the students what we're doing for our classes for the week. In other words, what we're doing in our Zoom classes. It also tells them what they should be doing on their own time and that asynchronous learning, any assignments. It tells them which assignments um, they have to complete, what's due for the week, and there are links to the assignments or any videos or any readings or anything they need in there. Okay, so super, super important. Um, it gets uploaded every Monday for that week. 
And when we have our Monday classes, which are about 25 minutes, I spend time going over showing the document and explaining what we'll be working on that week and what's due that week. Okay, so super important for organization. Attendance, um, we are back on a normal attendance, attendance policy. So when your students um, attend Zoom, they are marked present. Uh, Zoom does keep a record as to how long they are in session so I can tell if somebody has to leave, um, leaves early or if they come late. Um, if for some reason they need to miss class because of a doctor's appointment or illness or anything like that, just please send me a quick message um, so that I know. But in general, we are now back to taking attendance daily, just like we would if your child was in school in brick and mortar. We are also um, giving an, a, an engagement score. Um, it doesn't count as part of their grade, but it's there for you in Skyward and also for them to see. And it's a three, two, one. Um, and this is for how engaged they are during our Zoom classes. This has nothing to do with their homework or other work outside of class. It just has to do with class engagement. And so you can go through and see on these slides, there's things like um, keeping your camera on if that's a possibility for you, um, not being distracted by video games or your phone or other work that's around you and participating in class. And participation in class can look in several ways. It can be verbal, like you know, raising your hand and actually expressing yourself or it can be nonverbal, like writing something in the chat or doing a thumbs up or nodding your head or something just to show that you are engaged in what we're doing. And we also do things like polls and breakout rooms and, and different activities so that students can be involved in a, in, in a smaller group setting as well, or they can participate and show their opinion without having a name attached to it. So that goes in Skyward but it's not counted as part of a grade. And you can see that, and it's a three, two, one. Three being the best and one being um, not very engaged and needs to, to work on engagement in the class. And we will be posting this score every Friday. Grading policy, I grade on a point system, but I still give letters A through F, so still on the, on the kind of old school way of grading. Um, please, really important to note that Skyward is our grading system and Schoology is not our grading system. Please don't look for grades on Schoology. Schoology is really meant to be um, an organizational piece for where is my week at a glance, what are my assignments, um, the Zoom links to get into class. Um, it also has a calendar with all of your students' assignments on it and it's a way for them to message us and for us to message back. Okay. Um, Skyward, though, I try to update Skyward on the weekends for the work that the students have done the previous week. So that's what you're going to want to stay on top of and what your students should stay on top of for grades. Okay. Office hours. Um, every day from 1240 to 115, Monday through Friday, on days that we have school, I offer an open Zoom session. The link can be found on the week at a glance and the students can go in. It's an open Zoom session and it's a great time for them to come in and ask any questions that they need answered. For example, if your child has been absent and they need to get caught up on um, work that they've missed, office hours is a great time to come in. If I'm explaining new content and they're really having a hard time understanding and they don't want to speak up in class in front of a bunch of people, the office hour is a great time to come because there's usually only, you know, um, a couple of people, if not anybody. So it's their chance sometimes to have a one on one ask questions and then they can scoot. Um, meaning they can go on their own and they don't have to stay in there the whole time. It's also a great time if they're studying for a quiz or a test and they need um, extra help or they want to do a little review session, um, the office hour is great for that. These are optional unless I request that your child needs extra help and I request for them to come. But they are every um, day, Monday through Friday, from 1240 to 115. And students are aware of that link. And some of your students have already been coming, coming in and asking questions, clarifying questions, which is great. They can also Schoolage message me, which I know they know already. But they can also Schoolage message me if they don't want to come to office hours. And they can ask me questions, questions that way as well. Contact information, the best way to contact me is through school email. 
um, your students can Schoolage message me, but if you would like to contact me, this is my school email and it can be found on our um, Islander Middle School um, webpage. Please let me know if you have any questions or any concerns. Um, I'm available. I'm happy to help you. I know this is a, a kind of a, you know, crazy circumstance that we're in with an online world. I'm hoping that we get to go back to school um, sooner than later, but um, I also want everybody to be safe. So please feel free to email me if you have any questions or concerns or you want me to know something about your student that would help them to be more successful. I'm looking forward to a great year. I'm looking forward to getting to know all of your students really well and I'm, I'm feeling pretty hopeful based on our experience from last spring and the start of the year that your child will still be able to do science and learn science. So thank you for your time and I hope you have um, a good evening. Take care.